five gold medals on offer in the pool on day 13 at the Doha 2024 World Aquatics Championships, and we'll dive straight in with the men's 800 meters. Traditionally, sprinters have stolen most of the limelight in this sport, but in recent years, interest has grown in the distance events too. Improving length by length was Ireland's Daniel Whiffin. He broke the world short course record in December and was now aiming to become his nation's first ever world champion in the sport. But it looks like it's going to be a gold medal to Ireland. Less than 25 to swim now. Daniel Whiffen, he was fourth in Fukuoka. He was eighth in Budapest. He's done a lot in the last couple of years. The 22-year-old Irishman, he takes the gold medal in the 800 metres. Daniel Whiffen is a world champion, and the Irish fans are delighted. Just go, come in here, win that medal, it just makes, makes it so nice, so sweet, and makes all the training worth it. And, but now, we've got another event, so we need to get our head down after this. The men's 50 metre breaststroke also featured a host of heavyweight stars, including Adam Peaty, Nicolo Martinegi, and Nick Fink. Well, you can now add Australian Sam Williamson to that list. Fink will give the United States who narrowly be in front. Martin Engie's finishing hard. I think Martin Engie in front goes Williamson. This is going to be tough. Who gets on the touch? It's Williamson. Williamson takes the goal for Australia over Martin Engie and Fink. What a finish. What a result. It's gold to Sam Williamson. It's been an incredible experience. Uh, I mean, the gold medal doesn't really mean much, but it's the sentimental value that I'm going to put on it that's going to mean the world. The women's 200 meter free saw Hong Kong's Siobhan Jorge return to the pool 24 hours after her shock 100 meter breaststroke bronze. This was much more familiar territory for the Olympic silver medalist. She ultimately powered to a comfortable victory ahead of New Zealand's 400 meter free champion Erica Fairweather. If we watch Jorge going down towards the line here, I don't think it's going to be a world record, but it will be a gold medal. A gold medal going away from Hong Kong and Siobhan Jorge. Since I always missed the podium in the past two world champs, um, so this means a lot. Finally, I get to not only be on the podium, but be at the top of it. In the mixed 4x100 meter medley relay final, the USA boasted an enviable lineup with an individual world champion from Doha 2024 on each leg of the relay, and they unsurprisingly pulled clear in the closing stages. But this is the United States. Armstrong, Fink, Curzon and Kate Douglas. The USA claim another gold medal here. Their fifth, Australia take the silver. And the bronze medal going away of Great Britain. Yeah, no, it's great. I think um, everyone was uh, really sharp tonight and I think uh, we wanted to win that one and, and uh, especially after last year, so get it back. And, and uh, I think this is really good prep for, uh, for later on in the summer. We round off today's pool action with the men's gruelling 200 meter butterfly. European champion Alberto Rossetti of Italy had qualified quickest, but Japan's Olympic bronze medalist Tomoro Honda was in lane 5 next to him, and the two turned on exactly the same time at the 150 mark. It was going to come down to who could best tolerate the lactate burn. Rossetti and Honda, Rossetti edging in front, Honda is right there with him, it's between this pair, it's the Italian and the Japanese, it's Japan in front through Honda, he's getting stronger in the closing stages, and tomorrow Honda is going to go in and take the gold medal for Japan. Silver to Rossetti of Italy, and Espenberger taking the bronze medal for Austria. Day 13 of Doha 2024 also saw the conclusion of the women's high diving competition. After two rounds on Tuesday, the 16 strong finalist field returned for two further attempts from 20 metres. Jessica McCauley postponed her retirement plans to take in one further Worlds. The Canadian was rewarded with a third bronze of her career following a brilliant final dive of her career. Oh, it's great! Teammate as well as high diving and social media star Molly Carlson had led heading into the second day of competition. She performed well on that second day, but her final round entry was a little short of vertical. Short of vertical, unfortunately. Rising to the occasion when it mattered most, as she so often does, Rhiannon Ifland of Australia, a fourth consecutive world title, her reward for a phenomenal conclusion to her program. Oh, that was so good! 
ahead. It is 102.60. No wonder she smiles.